Fresno County covers over 6,000 square miles. It's home to more than a million people, all of which receive some type of service from the County of Fresno. There isn't much data that the county uses that isn't a location somewhere in the county. So knowing where that location is and what things are around it that affect that particular asset or person, it's pretty critical to run government. We have 10,000 culverts. We have 3,400 centerline miles of roads and 580 bridges. In order to quickly respond to the many needs of residents, the county uses Geographic Information Systems, or GIS. But what is GIS? GIS is the science of where. It's taking information and putting it on a map that tells a story. You can see data in a totally new way. You can bring everything together. Simply put, GIS allows the county to track enormous amounts of data all in one location and to manipulate that data in a way that helps guide the county's response. For public works, that means tracking road closures, road repairs, property lines, and county boundaries. The Ag Department can leverage GIS to track bee populations or the locations of invasive pests. In the past, information like this would be tracked on paper or through spreadsheets and binders. But with GIS, the county is able to move this information online, tagging it to a specific location. This gives county decision makers a clear picture of how to best serve the public. GIS shows patterns over time. Uh, you can see how something is moving, how a fire has spread, where it might be going. You can track how weather is impacting an emergency. It's also making that data live and making that data timely and making that data really count for the people who are out in the field doing the work. 2020's Creek Fire showed the importance of having in-depth data available at a moment's notice. We used the mapping to uh, make people aware of what's happening in their areas. We created a map for the public to use. They're able to type in their address and say, okay, this zone or this whole entire area is under evacuation or it's under evacuation warning. The use of that real-time evacuation map really helped us to save lives during the Creek Fire. And it really allowed us to push the envelope as far as safety of our own people and get our folks in to evacuate the people just in time before the fires. In 2023, the importance of GIS maps was solidified as the county responded to record snowfall in the nearby Sierra Nevada mountains. GIS is a tremendous communication tool. During the recent storm events, the representation of the facts, the data, the flows of the, the channels and everything else were real time updated. Our rivers were being tested, Our our dams were were filled up to the top and everyone was very concerned with the storms coming in. So we brought in live data. Uh, Public Works installed sensors on a lot of locations to get data on river flow, on stream flow for our canal system. Then you can see the flow dynamically. By streamlining our processes, decisions can be made on a more informed basis. It's helping them understand it on a much higher level in a much more detailed way. While using a map created in GIS is meant to be a simple task, it takes a team of dedicated, talented people to make sure the county is operating with the most correct information. It's one of the coolest things that I've been like a part of. If there's a project that involves mapping or data, whatever it may be, we're excited. Our community is, is tight, but, but we keep each other informed pretty good, and I love that. I love that, that communication, because now I know, like, oh, okay, we have that available. I could bring it in for my deputies, or I could bring it in for the dispatchers. It could be better informed and help the, the citizens. The hardware you can buy, you cannot buy the people. You have to have the talent and the desire and the heart to be able to run the GIS system.